In this video, I'm going to show you how to do rectangular facing in PathPilot, which is Tormach software. Uh, we're going to use conversational, so you don't have to do anything in CAM software. You just go and you open up PathPilot, um, click on conversational, and then click on facing. And we're going to start with a rectangular pattern. So if you choose a rectangular pattern, I'm going to start the next value minus 0.1 and end at 3.1, my part is three inches square. So I wanna start a little bit off my part and I wanna go a little bit off my part. So that's what the X and the start and the end values mean. You've got this start and the end values for X, start and the end values for Y. What your step over is, I'm using a quarter inch tool, hence a 0.24 inch step over. And I'm going to go an eighth of an inch deep. So my depth of cut is 0.125. I'm going to start at zero, the face of the part, and Z end is where, where is it going to end. If I'm going to make two passes, I can say 0.25 and it'll automatically make two passes for me too. Um, the only other thing I have to make sure if I want to test this out um, is go to offsets and make sure that in your offsets you have the tools all set up. So you have the diameter of the tool. In this case, I'm using the uh, 0.25 end mill. Make sure it has a length, the right length, and also make sure that you have your works offsets set up uh, so that it appears in the right place on the screen. Otherwise, you might end up with errors uh, when you go to try to verify it. So if I go back to main, I can see I can see my actual operation here and I can click on cycle start and it should just go through the operation. If you end up with errors, go back to conversation and any of the errors that show up will probably be highlighted in red. So it shows you the, the profile. It shows you what it does. Um, it goes through the operation. You can see your G code here. You can save it. Um, always save your work when you're done. And that's how you do a rectangular facing operation.